Let's see how we can port an old application to be used inside of a Docker container. So that's the application. We're just listening on port 3000 and sending hello world when opened the base URL. So we have package.json where we are depending on the express framework. Let's see our Docker file. Basically from node alpine image, we are creating one non-privileged user, app user, and also we create one group, app group. We add the user to the group. We set a default shell. We don't require password for this user. And then we create the directory app inside of our container. Afterwards, from our local directories, we are copying package.json and package.log.json into the container. And we are installing everything that's contained inside of package.json in the container. The last two steps are that we are copying everything from our local directory, in this case just the index.js file, into the app directory of the container. And we switch to the app user, so everything will be run from this user inside of the container. Now let's see the Docker Compose YAML file. We are building one web service where we are watching our index.js file for changes if it's changed. So if we are changing something on our local drive, immediately the changes will be reflected inside of the app directory in the container. We also have a possibility to ignore certain directories to be watched. This is first part of the develop options. So that's the synchronization. The second part is that whenever some package is changed inside of package.json or so removed or added, the whole container will be rebuilt. Let's see this in action. So I'm using docker compose up with flag of watch and then build just to rebuild the container for now. So I'm executing it and step by step everything is installed. Okay, so now the container is created and we can browse it on our port 8080. So let's open the browser integrated in VS Code and we would like to open localhost with port 8080. And this is our application for now. If we change something here and save, we should be able to see the reflected changes. So inside of the browser, if I refresh, we see that it's refreshing its new content and we see that everything works. This is thanks to Node Monitor. Basically, this functionality should not require Node Monitor, but should work with Node with the parameter of watch. But for now, since we are using the WSL, it's not yet implemented fully. Of course, in this case, in the Docker file, we don't need to install a Node Monitor too. Now let's see the second action, rebuild. If we go to package.json and let's say we change some of the versions of our dev dependencies here, the express version, and we click on save, immediately we see how it will be rebuilt and then restarted our container with a different version of express. And that's very handy. In case you're using the WSL for achieving better performance, it's recommended to move your project out of the Windows default directories, but directly inside the Linux directories. So here I'm inside of my home directory. This can improve the speed of hot reload and other file system operations. Of course, you don't need all the time to rebuild the project. So Docker Compose up minus minus watch is enough to look for your changes in the code and implementing hot rewards. If you'd like to learn more on that subject, you can see this page. You can use this Compose Watch for versions of Docker above 2.22. And here on this page, you can find various examples on how you can implement it. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed the information. And if you liked it, you can subscribe to the channel. Thank you.